Counterfeit sanctification, August 12. The sanctification now gaining prominence in the religious world carries with it a spirit of self-exaltation and a disregard for the law of God that mark it as foreign to the religion of the Bible. But the Bible is quite clear in 1 John 2, 4 and verse 5. It says, He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected, Hereby know we that we are in him. Let us look at the word keep it. In this context, the word keep it simply means to give attention to carefully. Now we read the text. He that said, I know him and does not give careful attention to his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoso keep it, or whoso give careful attention uh, to his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. Understand today that you might be wondering uh, how you can give attention to the word of God. To give attention to the word of God simply means uh, just spending some time with God's word. Uh, every day we eat, so every day we should eat a God's word. Let's spend time in prayer. Let's spend time in God's word. In that way, we are giving attention uh, to God's word. Uh, why not trust uh, in God's word uh, today? Let us ask God for special motivation uh, to spend time in his word. Now, that's the power of his word. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you have done for us. We pray, O oh God, that you would grant us a desire uh, to spend time in your word and grant us the motivation that is needed uh, to spend time in your word. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.